Welcome back. Are you all ready? I'm getting oh, some, healed up. I'm getting some use out of my sweet magnum. I think you probably do your shotgun now. Probably. I mean, you've already gone through two magazines with magnum. Oh man. I mean, I guess that's true. Uh, yeah, we'll see how he likes this. I mean, you're close enough so that he'll like. Oh great. Not. Feel again. happy when you go boom boom in his boom boom. Boom boom in his boom boom? Yeah. Turn towards me. Mutating again. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not really sure what he's up to. Oh, let's try your rocket know. launcher. <laughs> if I was going to do that, I should have done it at the beginning. Come on. Oh. There we go. Wouldn't that be great if that was your rocket launcher? And you need like one more shot. <laughs> that would be what we call lame. Alright, how am I doing here? Well, that took like half my magnum ammo, which makes me a little sad. And half your health after just healing. Uh huh. But I got a lot of healing items right now, fortunately. It's one of the few things I'm doing decent in. Yeah, you were pretty grumpy about healing early early on. You're like, I am out of herbs. Yeah. No well, first aid. I'm so like, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like expecting more boss fights and crap like that, you're like, I'm going to go into a boss fight with no way to heal. It's basically like, well, hopefully the hardest part of the level I can do without getting hit. Yeah. Because that sounds great. It is great. Uh, let me get my pistol back. Tension attic. I just prefer to live. You can't always live. I can try. Oh, this is where I came from. So I guess... Oh, wait a second. Maybe it's this door here? Yeah, I guess it's this door here. Is this door here? Yeah, it's this door here. Cool. Alright, well, I took care of it. So that's cool. It is now dead. Um... It wasn't too bad. I did get hit a few times after I switched to my shotgun, after some bad advice. What? <laughs> I mean, I didn't get hit at all when I used my magnum. Yeah, but... And then I had to get close to a big bladey sweepy thing. Well... <laughs> I'm just giving you a Whatever. Oh, is this where I came from? No. Do I want to operate this or go through that door over there? Um, check your map. The map isn't helpful. Then. Oh, this looks like a shortcut back. Okay, that's what this is. This is a like freaking trolley or something to go backwards. So I don't need that. Okay, good to know. So we're gonna go up this this ladder instead. Okay. What do you think about that? Go for it. You got any opinions? Uh, go for it. <laughs> This is a small room. It's a ladder. I guess I'll go up the ladder even though I just went up a ladder. Oh, great. This looks like the kind of place where regenerators would hang out again. It does seem laboratory jail cell ish. A little bit, yeah. It's like a redneck jail cell. Whoa. Whoa. What? Are you saying that rednecks are dirty, sloppy, messy people with crappy made and poorly taken care of jail cells I'm saying rednecks portrayed by the media <laughs> I guess that's true there was sort of the stereotypical redneck and then actual people who <laughs> lived down in the south classify as rednecks there's a lot of guys down there I see that also some nice barrels <laughs> there's still a guy right oh, there oh hey guy Yeah, I'm thinking like things like the horror movies, rednecks kind of thing. Uh huh. You know, rusty equipment, farm equipment. Yeah, I feel like there is uh, some aspect of that. Like, cause I've done a bit of like gaming textures and stuff, right? And like, you know, a lot of the times you make something metal, and then you're like, 
This looks really boring and plain. How do I make it look like this object is is slightly more interesting? The most obvious thing to do is just shove some age on it, like show some rust or some dents or something like that. And then, you know, you basically follow that rule and everything becomes these kind of like muddy, murky. What are you talking about? Everybody ever aged. always has brand new looking tools. I'm not saying that everything should be brand new looking. It's just that like things that look brand new in video games actually look really bizarre. Because like 3D models, like obviously it's like if you tried to model like a a perfect hammer in 3D, it would look like a perfect hammer. And you'd be like, well now it just looks like a perfect hammer, but this is like a craftsman's hammer. Like you know maybe it should show some wear and tear. I'll put some some duct tape on it. it looks like it's been reinforced or. God, you should see my hammer, dude. <laughs> It is so deteriorated. I bet. Like, I can, like, I've used it so much that it barely even pulls nails anymore because the claws are so worn down. I need to find another way there. I gotta get a new hammer. Don't we all? But the thing is, like, when you work in construction, a hammer is kind of like a baseball glove. Mm-hmm. Or the fact that, like, you hate buying a new one because then you gotta, like, get used to it. And oh, break yeah. It. Like, the balance is a little different and the... Oh, there's a hole here. The, the, I didn't the, see this. the handle is different, the grip, the neck, the weight, the way it swings, the way it pulls nails, the way the claw is shaped. Uh-huh. It's like a baseball glove. You want the exact same one. Yeah. Same and usually I keep my hammers long enough so that they don't make that same one anymore. <laughs> yep. Most hammers are made oh hey. I was about to start shooting. Yeah, they start improving. Let's make see. new models. And then I can never find the same exact one, and I get all sad, and I gotta get used to a new one. Go through that one for a couple years. I'm expecting snakes. Let's see, was there another side path that I might have missed there? There's there was a the merchant. Yeah, I know, but there's like another little round area thing, and I'm not sure if I checked there. Did I? I did not. Haha! -ha, treason. Blue stone of treason. I think you could put that in the headdress that you got. I think I sold it like everything. Even the one you got when you shot down the, uh, in the throne room? Oh, then maybe not, because that was kind of recent. Uh, oh, Crosser's Note. I think it's Krauser. Krauser. I don't know. It turns out that old man Sadler wasn't buying me from the start. Even though I succeeded in kidnapping Ashley, I sort of sensed this when Sadler didn't completely let me in the loop. Under the circumstances, I had no other alternative but to call for her assistance. Perhaps she knew this was the way it was going to turn out all along. My guess is that her ultimate goal might be different from Wesker's and mine. This is just the perfect opportunity to find out. And after I get rid of Leon and retur retrieve the sample, I'll put her in a body bag along with Leon and send them both to Wesker. It sounds like he's not good at making friends. That's what I'm getting from that. Nope. Uh, let's Dick. see. How much treasure do I have? Oh, I threw out the redstone. I had a redstone of faith or something like that. Yeah, I got nothing. If I had something to throw these in, I already sold them. Oh, well. It's not like it's too big a deal. Yeah, Welcome. I already got all these guns maxed out and crap. And oh, you might be able to get something from the game room. Things on sale, I mean, maybe. Stranger. What are you buying? Why is the list updated? What are you new guns? Uh, no new gun, no more first aid spray. God dang what are guy. You selling? I well, I don't need to what sell anything right buying? now. And like, I could tune up other parts of my guns, but I think damage is really the only Come thing that really matters. Anytime. So I'm gonna save my money. And I'm also going to save my game. Alright. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Where am I going now? I was thinking you could try those mini games again. I mean, I could. I don't know. I didn't really care for the mini game. And he just gives you, like, a couple dumb bottle caps, and you're just like, well, this is a waste of time. I'm sure you get something if you get enough bottle caps or something, but. Yeah, but what's the point, you know? What's Welcome the point? To improve your aiming skills. Freaking, I think I want to improve my aiming skills. Well, pistol skills are pretty useful. Yep. Be sure not to shoot Ashley. Right. 
Oops. Hit A. Pow pow. In the head, not the chest. Head drops all your very best. Nice. So far, so good. Ah. Oh, the guy, what's his name laughing at you? Salazar. He's dead, he can't laugh. They mate. recorded his voice. Whoa. And then they played it. To make it seem like he's back from the dead. To taunt you. How'd I do? Prize awarded! That seems pretty good, right? Did I do good? Sure. Hope I did good. We didn't miss any. I don't think. That's true. How'd I do? You got 25 out of 25. Uh, end game. How'd I do? One bottle caps. Uh. Like, how. What do I do with the bottle caps now? You, uh, open up your collection. Under key treasures. Mm hmm. Down, that one. Yep. Examine. Oh, I see. I got cool figures. Yeah. Rocket Launcher Leon, and I got one of, of Mrs. Wong. Woo! Th those are like things in Japan. Why don't we have that stuff? What, figurines? Yeah, on top of bottle caps. Oh, is this is this little like on top of bottle caps? Yeah. I guess it is. Why does he have figurines of Ada Wong on bottle caps? Apparently, it's a collecting thing in Japan. Like, sure, you collect them. Like, you buy different sodas and you get different bottle cap. Figures. No, I can I can definitely imagine. I feel like the problem is like in Japan, right? Like, if you saw a soda with Ada Wong on it, you'd be like, I'm buying that. Yeah. If it I was would. if it was the U.S., I bet you there's some people who are like, I bet you I could snap that off and shove it in my pocket, and no one would notice. Oh. <laughs> I guess. I mean, you know how the U.S. is. Even well, if it's like one in a hundred people are shifty enough to try that, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Well, next time on Operation Pixel. Okay.